Good afternoon, race fans, RC fans, sim fans. Racing 393 here again today for another video. And as you can see by the uh, the picture, we've got, got ourselves a Mardave kit. So what I decided to do is there were, there's a few cars. They, I think they released the, uh, if, you, if you've been watching various channels, um, the Mini 50, which is the original Mardave uh, mini stock from years ago. Um, that was released, only 50 odd were made. So they went pretty quick. And I've, I've, I've got the original mini stock. I, I, I still have that from back, I don't know when I got that, 19, I don't know, it must be 1991-ish, something like that. So what they've done now, they've released a different, different kit. Um, it's been out a while, I must admit. And this is what they class as the Mini Racer 21. And this one in particular is the carbon fiber version. So I thought I'd treat myself and thought I'd do a little bit of a box, box opening. Um, and hopefully we'll do a build video because they're, they're fairly simple to, to build and we can go from there. So I, I just thought I'd just like to share my thoughts and opinions on, on what I've got. So let's, let's go and open the box. So here we are, here's the uh, box open. You're, so the first thing you'll notice, uh, is a lot of gear in here which doesn't come as standard. So I, I bought these uh, additional. So I'll go through what I've got and we'll get the bits and pieces in front of the camera and uh, show you what, what's there. So first off, um, this was a uh, electronic speed controller. I don't know much about this. Um, it's just, I know it's designed for oval racing in particular. Um, so I'm not, I'm not 100% sure about it. I know it's got a Dean's connector on it, which I'll probably have to change somehow. Um, unless the battery I've got is also a Dean's connector. So I'll just make sure I hold that in front of the camera while I'm talking. So as you can see there, quite nice, small, lightweight, and specifically designed for oval racing. So that's good. So we got that. I've also purchased some wheels and tires. Now the thing is with this, you can see here, I've got some um, revolutions. Uh, I bought some soft tires with them. The I'll show you in a minute the tires and that that come with the kit, but I'm gonna probably have to, I don't know, I might even have to buy a tire truer and get these turned down because uh, the, the, the walls, as you can see there, are really, really thick. I didn't really want them that thick. I know you can buy them in different states of uh, where, not different states of America, but different states of where, so, or you turn down yourself. Um, these ones are, um, what ones did I buy? Um, put the bag here. So as you can see there, they're just soft. So I decided to go for a soft foam tire, and I think they, I think they're okay for this wheel. They look okay to me. So there's 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 four of them. I try not to reach uh, in front of the camera. So, so all you can see is my monkey arms. So as you can see, I've got you know four of those. Put that this way. Um, I might as well show you the tyres that come with the kit. So the wheels are the same size. But the tyres are, as you can see, are clearly a much smaller size in uh, diameter. So these these ones have been, I think you can buy them like that actually, but I'm, I'm guessing that they, they're turned down and supplied like this. So that's more of a size that I would expect to be using on a car of this scale. Um, these ain't too bad. Um, these are made, I think these are, I don't know if they're like, 3D printed, I would guess so. Um, they are a lot different to what the original tyres and wheels are, and the original kit from back in the day. But uh, anyhow, that's uh, 
I've got, I have got them to use anyway, I've got another, another set there, uh, which is uh, also good to have. Uh, what else? I don't know if I need this, but I've got it anyway, some tyre tape to tape the tyres onto the rims. Um, I know you can use adhesive like glue. I'm not sure how you get these on actually, these must be quite kind of got to open the tire up and I don't think it will slide on that's gonna be a bit I'm not sure that's necessary I've got it anyway um, this is a I'm not sure this is I think I've got a different spur this was recommended on the um, Mar Dave website I'm guessing this the, the teeth the amount of teeth on the spur depends on the track you're running at. If I'm not intending to run this on an oval, although if, I, if there was one, I would. Um, and there's an aluminium adapter, which you can see. I'm guessing that just fits on there, yeah. So that an aluminium adapter, which is recommended on the Mar Day website. Apparently, well, I don't think that's included in the kit. If so, I've got two. And the battery. So the other thing I've got here is a just a um, a three point a three thousand sorry a three thousand six hundred milliamp hour nickel metal, uh, nickel metal hydride. And oh, it has got. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. But that's that's good. That that's also got a Dean's connector on as well. So I don't need to do anything. That's a nice little battery. Um, Give that a go as well. That's the one recommended as by Mar Dave. Back in there. So there's the um, window masks with the all important windows. Some standardised. Decals. Are they window masks? Actually, let me think about that. Yeah, they're window masks and they're the windows. I guess it depends on what you want, what you plan to do. I'll, I'll let you know my uh, my plans. Um, and here we are as a picture of the Mini Racer 21. So my Initial thoughts are: I'm going to build this as a, as a two-litre hot rod. I know they do actually hot rod kits, amongst many others, and yeah. So I haven't. I'm not going to do it box art, but I will. Do, oh, there hasn't really been that many actual mini two-litre hot rods. Um, I can think of two off the top of my head, but I can't remember the names of the drivers. Or, if I'm honest, the car, I think one of the cars might have been yellow, but I won't be doing it yellow. So I'll probably pick an iconic hot rod colour that those in short circuit over racing will recognise and transform it, transform it over to the uh, this Mini. You can see that by the uh, the infamous rear wing. It, it's, it's screaming out for um, hot rod style colouring. So that's that. So we're gonna go through the, the box. There's not a lot in the box. Um, very, very limited in fact. So the thing that comes with the kit is the Core RC stock motor and pinion. I don't, I'm not sure how many turns. Oh, 21, so it must be 21 turn. That comes with the kit. So it's, probably, uh, it's probably more than enough for what I need at the moment. So that, that comes with the kit. So rear axle, a couple of spur gears, some bearings. Um, I'm guessing that that's not kind of like what I've got, but it's got like a plastic. I don't know what that is. Actually. It obviously must fit 
it's got like a, uh, like a castle or cutout on there, as you can see, that must slot into something. So that looks like the gearing. Um, these ones here are like body posts, mounts, carbon fibre plate there, not sure what that's for. There we go. Um, I think these are the rear axle mounts that go onto the chassis. So they're just plastic. Again, more bracketry and obviously I think that belt in there is for the uh, to strap the battery in. But again, carbon fibre, so nice like that. Um, rear wing, which now needs to be cut out. So we'll get that sorted. Servos, servo saving nuts and bolts. And some steering knuckles, track rods. And that's got some more wing mounts. I see in the packet. Looks like front steering, um, front brace, and stub axles. Looks like a servo mount kit, sort of bolts the servo down, which I haven't got yet. Um, not sure what that is. Is it a front brace or something, a bumper, I don't know. And probably more importantly, nice carbon fibre. You can see that on the transport, but it we can see it. Uh, chassis, so excellent. So that's that's it really. There's not much to this kit. Um, I think I might I think I might do a build video tomorrow, but this will just flow into a build video, or at least get it to a rolling chassis. Um, any problem? I have got a servo. I've got some servos, so I might. I might have to install one of my stock servos I've got. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, really. I don't think there's much else. Well, there isn't. There's, there isn't. There isn't anything else to uh, show you. Really. I mean, the box is the box is the box, but as you can see there. Um, I can't really put that there. Can I? Oh, one thing I haven't showed you, the important bit. I have to move my camera. So there we are, it's a, a typical um, classic style mini. I'm glad it's that one and not the, uh, the new shape mini. So I'm going to plan to I may even get that fit in tomorrow, uh, I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to, um, historically, the, the, the two little hot rods don't have, they don't have windows in, and very limited amount of um, perspex or windows are actually in UK oval racing. Um, but I think, I think they, it's optional. I think I have seen some of the hot rods and uh, back in the day super rods with screens. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm not sure how. It, I don't know. It doesn't seem that strong. Could have perhaps done with um, like a polyurethane body instead of a Lexan. But um, I want to cut some of these out, but I might, to, you know, historically a, a front of the screen there, for example, on an, on an oval hot rod has got quite a, a lot of like visor that comes down. So it'd be a smaller amount of screen that you cut out. Um, I suppose I could try and, if I mark it out properly, I could leave, 
like a centre bar because they have that as well. That might add to some strength. My only concern, I might have to just, you know, use a little bit more of the integrity of the uh, roof, roof sort of part. I mean, you can see the roof's not a particularly great finish. It's got you know, like bumps and things on it, which I'm not. But if I put a decal over it, I'm planning to put a decal over that. Because um, UK hot rods or UK oval racing have gradings on the roof, so it depends what colour roof you are where you start, and also championships. So I'm going to probably put a particular championship colour roof, um, but I might try and get that in decal because I don't actually think my painting skills are anywhere near needed to get that done. Um, so what, I'll just quickly show you here for a second. Let me just. So that's, so that's the shell. If I just put one of the wheels up, you see that, it kind of fills the arches. I mean, it's not really very, don't need it particularly very high. It depends on how they sit. Probably get away with that. Maybe. Don't know. At least I could have some offset stagger. If I put the smaller wheels on the inside, paint them black. I do like, as you say, I'll put this a bit closer. I do like the Ross style, uh, sorry, Revolution style wheel. Um, yeah. So there we have it. So I'm going to do a build video. I'm tempted to film it on on my phone and do time lapse. I don't know yet. I'm not sure if we've got enough room, but we'll get it rolling at the very least. Shouldn't take too long. Um, and then we'll go from there. I mean, I there is potential that I could get it running if I pull my finger out, but. We'll see, we'll see what we're faced with. So, I'll see you in a jiffy when we build it. All right, see you in a bit. Bye for now. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, sim fans, race fans, RC retro fans, as we are today. Racing 393. So I thought I'd just quickly, before I attempt the build of the Mini 21, which you're gonna see in time-lapse, I thought I'd show you my original Mardave Mini stock. So as you can see, the box in front of you is the original box that I got with the kit. Like I said, about 1991, I think I built this car. Or I should say I purchased the car and it costs well it's still got the sticker price on there $49.95 now over the time when I had this car I bought a load of spares which I haven't got down here now they're upstairs they're upstairs in another box I've bought almost each spare part for this vehicle so I could build another car. The original Mar Dave spares. Um, my, my thought process initially was to race this, but that never happened. So I've got here the, my original Futaba um, Attack 2. Again from the same area, a bit dusty, but it's, uh, it's, it's in really good condition. Um, no problems at all if you like that kind of thing. So you've got the original, this is the, um, the old 27 megahertz. Um, 27 megahertz. Um, and I did this mini in my own colors. So let me just, I'll grab it out of the box for you.
here it is in all its glory. To move some of these boxes around. So it is well and truly, well, as I say, it's well and truly used. It's, um, it is as it is. It was, it's absolutely original in every aspect. So I did, uh, sort of did my own colours at the time. My, my race colours tends to be green and yellow and a bit of red. I think the, the actual colour of the body there is the white and I didn't paint that. Um, but it has been it has been used. Um, you can see there what I was mentioning in my other video is the front tires are a lot smaller than the rears. So it's a, it's a, in my opinion, it's a little bit more in keeping of, of being a Mini. Um, let's turn the car over. So a few sort of scuff marks underneath. But other than that, it's in, you know, in reasonably, it's got the tires are a little bit chewed. You know, they still spin. Not sure the servo is working. And that still turns. You know, as it should. Um, and I think what I'll do, I'll just show you inside the car. Um, I can't, I, do you know what? I don't think I've taken this body shirt off now for Best part of 15 years. God knows how it is inside here, I must admit. There you go, so it's you know, used. And it's got the original speed controller from back in the day. I don't know where the battery's gone. I don't think I've got the battery. Um, who knows? Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know what motor that is in there. <laughs> Something. Standard 540, I guess. So the tyres have seen better days. A bit of a clean up, they'd be okay. Um, but it moves, you know, it's fine. I don't know whether the um, the servo works. Oh, it does work. So that still works there. And the back one. Yeah. I don't, it'd be interesting to see whether or not um, that this is a goer. It's still got the original uh, receiver on there, as you can see. A heat sink, a little motor. I'm not sure. It's got a switch on now. I don't even know if that would work. I mean, I, I could change the electronics on this. We can change electronics on it and then you know put some modern stuff in it clean up the wheels or clean up the tires put a shorty uh, you know like i've got for the other mini stock and we'll use that battery to be honest that will go in there quite nicely um yeah i mean it is it's nothing broken but i've got all the spares to build another one pretty much bumpers wheels tires axles everything so there there you go i thought i'd show you that one that's the original and we'll get on now to building the new one so i will see you in high speed mode very soon i'll see you in a bit
So that's as far as I got. Um, it, I didn't do it with the instructions. That, well, there weren't any. Um, all there was, was there is an online YouTube video, which I, I, I chose not to sort of watch. Um, a bit confused of how it was, there's a few things that are not quite what I think should be right, but then again, I suppose I might have put it together wrong, but I'm happy how the back went together uh, and where the battery goes. This just means adjusting the front. The front bumper doesn't actually screw on. There's nothing, there's nothing long enough for it to go through and bolt together. So I don't quite know what the problem is there. So you, know, you can see where those screws go into the bumper. There's one there. They're pretty flush, but they just sort of push in. So I don't quite know what's going on there. I've got this bit here, which I would suggest goes on the back. somehow but I don't know <laughs> it wouldn't fit it when I put it on where I thought it went you know I thought it went there but I, I can't honestly the, the, the stretching the bolts on there so that probably isn't where it goes uh, there's a few bits left over here which I know I've got to use I've got like the front the front post for the bodywork body shell these go on, they clip on. So there's some stuff missing. So they, they should go on to these, these parts here need to go onto here. And they have like a pin underneath. Well, I've only got one pin. Um, the bit that's left is to do is the servo mount which I haven't done yet. I think that's a servo mount as well. So there's obviously a two servos, two servo mounts, which go on to those slots there. That's not a problem. So I suppose my next thing now is to watch the video. Um, as you can see also, <laughs> probably more important than most things, I couldn't use the wheels at those um, Revolutions. I could use them on the back, they'd fit, but I've got exactly the same wheels as the front, and the front's are, um, bearing. So I've had to have odd wheels which would, would do my nutting. So I've put the original wheels that came with the kit on, they fit okay, yeah, they're fine. So I didn't put the speed controller in, got a lot more to do yet. So next thing to do is to watch the video. The, the bodywork, the body shell would go on. Um, trimming around the wheel arches and things. Um, I'm going to have to watch the video, my next call, port call, and just complete what I haven't finished. Um, I used to think that the front of the car had two body posts, which my gut feeling would go here. But that's going to be in the way of the steering. And there was a single one at the back. That's how it used to be. I don't know. But there are bits and pieces missing, Mr. Mar Dave. Um, I will send you an email, let you know what's what, once I watch the video, because it could be that I'm actually built something wrong. But other than that, it's a very enjoyable build. It looks okay. I like the carbon fiber. I'm pretty sure that I've it's probably me that's done something out of sync rather than something missing. But we'll go from there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And I shall see you with a little bit more completed vehicle. Bye for now.